So today, as we just mentioned, Kevin Newman is officially a Pittsburgh Pirate. And Neil Huntington putting on the jersey for the Pirates' first round pick, the 19th overall choice in this year's draft. Boy, what a whirlwind it's been for you, Kevin. I can't imagine what this past week has been like for you. It's crazy, isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, it's just been so much fun uh, and honor to be here. Um, people have been around are amazing. Do you think Pittsburgh, when, you, when this whole draft process goes along, I mean, do you have an idea who's going to draft you? Yeah, you know, um, I spoke with them quite a bit and got great feeling, great vibes from uh, everyone in the organization. And uh, when draft day came around and my name was called, I was I was as happy as can be. And, and I wasn't completely shocked. John, I love the story, too. We talked to Kevin uh, for our radio pregame tomorrow night. We recorded it, and you told the story about how the Pirates called you I don't know what number this was in the draft, but it was about maybe 10, 15 minutes before the commissioner actually went to the podium. So you're on the phone from someone with the Pirates <laughs> that they're going to pick you, and then what happened? Uh, so I was in a separate room. Um, I got that phone call, and then I went out to a uh, living room. You had a big party? Yeah, with uh, like 40 or 50, you know, family and friends. And um, I went out there, and I kept my mouth shut. I didn't say anything. I uh, sat down with everybody and waited a couple picks, and then when the Pirates came up, and you know, they said my name, and we all jumped up and went crazy, and, and it was a natural reaction for everybody because nobody knew. See, I think that is so that, great. So he goes back into the room. You know, Clint Hurdle talks about wanting players with a slow heartbeat. I think yeah. this tells you something about Kevin Newman. He can go back into this, his, his godfather's party that's having this draft party for him. He already knows his name's going to be called. So you just looked around the room to see the reaction. Yeah, uh, pretty much. You know, I just walked back in there, and I, I almost tried to look nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, to try to sell it. Of course. That's, that's almost great. impossible. I, I don't know how you could do that. <laughs> what a great story. Something you dream of your entire life, and you just put on the poker face. Good stuff. Yep. Kevin Newman, who grew up in the San Diego area, and uh, pretty much a Padres fan, but one major league player in particular you, you liked. Yeah, Derek Jeter um, grew up, you know, trying to emulate him, and um, on and off the field, just uh, you know, one of the best players around, best players in the game, and and uh, you know, just always tried to be like Jeter. Ball in the air toward the seats, a long run for Tabata and Rodriguez, and with room, it's Tabata. So two outs here in the top of the third inning. And you know, a couple of the former uh, picks from last year, didn't you? Pirate picks. Yeah, um, Cole Tucker and Connor Joe, both uh, both really good friends of mine. Played uh, high school ball with Connor Joe, actually same team, uh, a year older than me. Um, went farther back than that. Played little league with him, um, you know, and, and just uh, grew up with him. Now we're uh, we're in the same organization, and you know, hopefully uh, one day both playing here, at PNC Park. How about being the same organization with that guy? Nice. Another former first round pick. Yeah, he's a phenom. That's amazing. I guess that sort of thing happens in Southern California where you play with guys that end up getting drafted high and play together in the minor league system. Doesn't happen around here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> it doesn't happen at all. <laughs> Never happens. You might get a guy every 20 years from the area that you know, they get drafted yeah. and get to the big leagues. Pretty neat stuff. Now you, we saw you played the Cape. Wooden bat league, right? Correct. So you're pretty comfortable with the wooden bats. I love the wooden bat. I like it more than metal. Nice. Yeah. Can we keep you for another half inning? Absolutely. All right, let's do that. That was a quick one, two, three. We are back, and in February, Kevin Newman playing for Arizona against Rice. This is a steal of home, and it's a walk-off steal of home against Rice. There's Kevin Newman. Talking about a slow heartbeat. That's a, is that the second steal of home for you? Uh, that was one of two, yes. Unbelievable. Now, are you on your own there? Yeah, that one, uh, that was on my own. The other one was actually a call play, but, um, you know, right there, we actually practiced that. We, we practiced stealing home, um, and I saw the opportunity, and I went for it. Sheesh. Are you yelling at the hitter, don't swing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm yelling. <laughs> Kevin Newman, our guest. First round pick, 19th overall, and officially signed today. Here's Shung Ho Gong. Singled in a run his first time up. You were talking about the, the bats, John, before we were rudely interrupted by a quick one, two, three inning there yeah. in Francisco. The, the, yeah, the wooden bat. I mean, obviously, you've used it in the Cape Cod League. Before then, have you ever used wooden bat? Um, yeah, in scout ball, um, you know, like junior summer, summer of my junior year. Uh, and then after.
after my senior year in high school, all the tournaments are with that, um, but nothing more than that. A big difference between college bats, the, I know that you, you were talking in between innings that, that, that they have different bats nowadays that deaden the ball. Uh, yeah, pretty much <laughs> with, the, with the new style of bats. Uh, you know, it definitely doesn't jump like it used to. Uh, oh, man, Beckham playing some kind of defense. He just robs Gung That's of extra bases. Three straight. Um, and would you say, uh, compare the bats you used in, in college to a wooden bat? Big difference? Um, very comparable. Yeah. Comparable. I mean, you, you almost might get more off of a wood bat, hmm. um, depending on the wood and, you know. Do you have a model you like? You have one picked out yet? Not yet. No. no I, I mean, uh, in the Cape, we had a, a few provided for us, so um, I haven't really swung uh, that many of them. But um, just in general, I like the feel a lot more. You have lots of options, different handles and barrels and lengths and weights and everything else. Um, you've, have you ever been to this part of the country? Um, other than Cape Cod, no. No. I never been to Pittsburgh. Well, what was it like then to walk into this this ballpark? Now you've been to Petco and I'm sure other major league ballparks, mm -hmm. but how does this one? Because we've always enjoyed Petco. If yeah, I think Petco and and uh, AT and T in San Francisco, I think are comparable to this. But I don't think anything really always takes a back seat to, to this one. Everything else. Uh, I would have to agree with you on that. Uh, this is uh, amazing. You know this this backdrop and city behind the stadium. It's by far the best I've ever seen. And I guess you walked out from the dugout. I saw Clint Hurdle greeted yeah. you, right? Yes. Yeah, I spoke to him. Uh, spoke to a couple guys on the team. You know, they were uh, nice enough to take some time and come over and say hello. Clint Hurdle uh, gave uh, Kevin a big bear hug. Welcome to the Pirates. And a ground ball. Shortstop can't make the play. Ramirez, so Cervelli will have his second hit. Kevin Newman, the shortstop out of the University of Arizona and officially signed today. Kevin you talked about your coach uh, Andy Lopez uh, helping you out offensively and defensively. I know you made it a point to stress that today. Uh, yeah I mean he's uh, he's been a huge part of uh, my success at Arizona. Um, just his coaching style and the way he motivates his players and, and pushes us to get as much as he can out of us. Um, you know, just uh, just really helped out, and and I, I couldn't be more grateful for going to play for him. The top of the grounds, this ball, Ramirez gets one, and they get two. Kevin, thanks a million. Congratulations. Absolutely, thank you. Look, look forward to seeing Kevin uh, this week, the West Virginia uh, Black Bears. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Best Kevin Newman, Pirates' first-round pick. Our guest.